What's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Michael Lane. You know what I mean? Check out my show, Like It or Not, with Michael Lane. Information is right down there. I'm trying. I'm gonna try not to snap off too too tough. Uh, but I got. I got to talk about this. I have to. Hillary, or I like to call her Killary Clinton, uh, was doing an interview, and she said, uh, in that interview, her biggest regret as Secretary of State was Benghazi. That was her biggest regret. She told, I, I forgot who she was uh, talking to. I got to hurry up and do this show, so I'm not going to try and find out. But I'm going to talk about this on the show as well. But she, she claimed that, uh, uh, you know, just knowing that she lost her friends, and, you know, uh, her buddies. It's just, just so tough, just so sad uh, that it went down and it's her biggest regret. And maybe more could have been done, stuff like that. Now before you all say, oh there he goes again, I want you all to hear me out. You liberals out there, hear me out. This is why, I'm going to tell you why this is some of the most disgusting words I've ever heard. What she just said was a bunch of bull crap. Bull crap. Because if she was real, listen to me, hear me out. If she was real, you know what she would have done? She wouldn't talk on an interview. She wouldn't express herself during an interview. We all know she's trying to clear herself. She didn't have nothing to say when the New York Times said it was about the video. Remember when they were trying to cover for them? And then when the report came out, the official report saying something should have been done. It wasn't because of a video. It was four branches of Al-Qaeda. Remember when Al-Qaeda was decimated and on the run? They attacked, they killed, and now they're taking over Fallujah. Way to go. That sounds pretty decimated to me. That sounds like they're really on the run. But she said nothing. Then. So now she has to clear herself again by doing this interview. If she would have done this, I would have believed her. She would have said nothing. Wouldn't have been on camera. If she would have went to the family members. Private. And the family members would have came out and said that we had a talk with Hillary Clinton. And she said that she was sorry, that that's her biggest regret. She's sorry for covering it up. She's sorry for uh, not being there in the first place after they were warned time and time again. She's sorry for absolutely letting you down and looking at you dead in your face and standing in front of the caskets of my dead family members and lying about a damn video she's sorry she regrets it and she's gone she went on about her merry way that's when I know it's sincere but that's not Hillary Never been Hillary, never was Hillary, and never will be. She can give a damn about them. She can give a damn about uh, the ones, because they're heroes too. They sacrifice their family members. So they are much as heroes as those four dead Americans. See the media talking to them? Those heroes? You see Hillary Clinton? Hillary Clinton? Talking to those heroes? Do you see Barack Obama even mentioning that? Yes, he can have Hydea Pendleton's parents for gun control purposes. He can use other people like that great American hero in, in, uh, as a prop. Even though he's taking money away from the veterans and giving it to uh, illegal immigrants. He 
can do all that. But he can't have one family member there that died in Benghazi. Not one. Where's the survivors? They're survivors. Where are they? They're hidden from us. Why aren't the media pushing us? Why? We all know why. But I'm just asking, just to be asking. For, for you all to think. Why, why are the media not going to the, the family members of, of the ones who passed? That's because the media don't give a damn. If they were Democrats, they would. As far as Democrats saying, well, Obama is just perfectly right. If somebody came out and they said, Obama's 100% right, 100% perfect, beautiful. They would interview them all the time. And they would say, oh, I'm so sorry. Because they're helping in the cover-up. But Hillary, or Hillary, did not do it. She is still, that's her way of campaigning, kind of moving it away from her. That's my biggest regret. Let's move on. And let me win in 2016. The original birthday. You know, the one that told the truth about Obama. Saying that he wasn't born in America. She could give a damn. And that's a shame. It's tough. It's tough, man. And, and most of you all will sit there and say, well, she done a wonderful service. She shouldn't feel bad at all. You who think that? I know the family members have decency in it, but I don't. So I can say this. On behalf of America, you still think that way about Hillary? You screaming Hillary 2016? I say, fuck you. Like it or not. <laughs>